Welcome back, all tape at Benny versus the Ferret Business. I've been off for a little bit, uh, taking some vacation time away from work and away from uh, hobbies and spending time with the family. So it's been a lot of fun to enjoy the sun, but hey, you know what? There's sun in Minecraft too, right? <laughs> so let's get back at it. What were we doing last time? Well, we were staring at the sky. No, we were not. We were working on our Tier 4 Blood Altar. So. What do we need to do to do that? We need to make a ritual diviner to create a binding ritual, to create a bouncer, to get a weak shard, to build our bloodstone blocks, to cap the tier 4 altar, to finally upgrade it to tier 4. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit of a process here. Uh, what do we need here? So we need four diamonds, easy, emerald, easy, and elemental inscription tool, air, water, earth, fire. Let's check these out. So this is a tier 3 altar with a gas tier in it. And lapis, magma cream, and obsidian. So we need to go throw those into <laughs> these guys don't like me. Into our altar. Ta-da! So we're gonna, we're gonna let that go. So what happens is we're gonna build there our uh, ritual diviner, diviner, divination, however you want to say that, and we are going to use our ritual stones to create a binding ritual. It's a pretty big one. Uh, so to create the ritual stones, we have made a bunch of reinforced slates, which if you forget is a blank slate and a tier two altar and a blank slate is stone in a tier one altar. So uh, a little bit of construction to get all these obsidian in the four corners and our apprentice blood orb. So I'm going to take these last four out, grab the orb, keep it with us. And I guess we might as well put these away for now. I only need one obsidian there. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can see I've got uh, this set up to do our ritual diviner. Let's put this in here. And then we'll go check on how our. There we go. Look at that. Ta da! That in there. And while that's cooking, quote unquote, we'll go over here. And I think air went in top. I wonder if it matters. We'll find out. Not there, over here, over here. All right, I'm not sure how long these take. Apparently not long at all. Let's watch this one. We'll see how long this one takes. And uh, I believe it takes a thousand, so it probably doesn't take very much. Thousand and 10,000, not a thousand. Okay, pop that in there. While we're here, let's uh, get rid of some of these guys and refill that blood altar. Best XP farm ever. Okay, not ever, but this is pretty handy. That we have something that will one kill these guys without having to have the uh, the usual squisher in there, which is pretty nice. Get up there. Bunk. All right, let's go put this in over here and see what happens. Not there, silly. Water. Earth, fire. All right, so ritual diviner. Used to explore the new types of rituals. Cannot place dusk runes. Okay. Ritual tuned to face north. Press shift to, for extended information. Okay. All right, so we have that. This up here. Let's eat some food. Let's put some stuff away. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to find a spot that we can put down our ritual. Uh, apparently, when it uh, ignites, the ritual may cause a little bit of fire, so I don't want to put it down in the base. I believe I have enough ritual stones to make this happen properly. We'll find out. And let's eat something. And I really got to work on getting more hearts. All right, so let's go, I guess... Hmm. Nine by nine. 
No, I don't think that's big enough. Right, let's just do it right out here. How's that sound? Right here in the sand, which won't catch fire. So uh, I'm going to look up in the air and I'm going to right click. No, so I'm going to shift, right click, full spring, serenade of the nether, ritual of the green grove. Containment binding. Uh, I don't actually know what the other rituals do yet. <laughs> so let's click. Now we have the ritual of the binding. Oh, you know what? We are missing. We're missing a master ritual stone. I believe we need to click on this thing. Aha! That's probably why I have extra ritual stones. All right, let's go back over. Let's fix this. We can make this happen pretty quick. You get into there. Oh yeah, so you can see I, I actually had this set up already. Hence why this was in here. Things I set up weeks ago and forgot about. Oh, ah. All right, so let's put that into our crafting station. Put the obsidian in the corners and get nothing because I probably actually need a different orb. Let's try the blood orb. Nope, let's try this one. There we go. That was a Magician's Blood Orb, which is the current, our current tier of Blood Orb. I'm going to put the other two in there. And we'll put the Master Ritual Stone in our inventory. Uh, yeah, we'll go with here. Let's see, nine. Oh, it's nine. Yeah. What are you doing out there, chicken? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So really we need five. One, two, three, four, five. How about right there? All right, and we're going to click this. So you can see. Ritual of binding. Regeneration. Ooh, hmm. I gotta check these out. Some of these look kind of cool, or sound cool at least. How many rituals are there? Wow. Um, wow, holy. I think I need to make some more um, oh, ritual binding. Darn it, <laughs> I passed it. I'm gonna have to uh, make some uh, more ritual stones. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Slowly, don't go past it. And binding. Excellent. So when I right click this, well, look at that. Oh, it auto builds it. That's pretty cool. So you can see it pulled the ritual stones right out of my inventory. Um, I'm not sure how you would place this because I don't think you can actually make these. Maybe use some dies or something like that. Anyway, well, let's look it up. Ritual stone. Because I didn't see those in the, in the recipes. Yeah, so I see these, but I don't see any of the point ones. So, I'm not sure if you can actually build those without. So, yay, we got that. So, what do we need next? We need to, we need a lava shard, I believe. Let's see, we made one of those before, a long time ago. Lava can seed, no. Uh, lava crystal? Or something in blood magic. Lava crystal. That lava crystal. Oh, really? All right. Let me go gather some stuff and we will check it out. All right. Here we go. Lava crystal. So we have three lava buckets, two pieces of glass, two pieces of obsidian, a diamond, and some kind of orb in the middle. So we're going to take that, take my buckets, and we're going to throw this into there. And it's going to consume some stuff, and we will see what happens. Should turn into a weak shard, I believe. 10,000 essence, eh? I think it's going to swallow up everything that's in that altar at the moment, which is fine because we can easily make more. Right, Blazes? Come on. Get down here. Do your job. There you go. Look at that, eh? 
Boom. Weak activation crystal, thank you. Okay, that's what it is. I was getting the name wrong, but that's fine. Let's put some more blood in our blood altar. Look at that. Where are we already? 36. Nice. I suppose I could uh, sit here and do this for a little bit. But I don't really want to, so I'm going to get rid of these guys that have spawned already. Oops. And then... More up there? There is. Alright, let's put this in here for now. Let's also do this, this, that, that, that. Man, my inventory fills up so fast. Diamond sword we need to keep. Throw the empty buckets in. Let's do this. Okay, so what we need to do is now that we have our weak activation crystal, we are going to let's see if I remember correctly. We need to whack the center of this and then throw our sword on it. I'm just gonna really quickly check because you know getting that wrong would be kind of not so fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, press it. Smack the weak crystal. Throw your diamond sword at it. Okay. So that's, where are we here? Let me get back to the right screen. Okay, there we go, we're back. So let's do this. And boom. Oh, you know what? I probably, maybe I don't have enough blood in this. Let's go see. Let's refill our system and see what happens. Oh, I wonder if the wrong orb on me. No, I got it. Okay. Let's find out. Let's see if we can fill up the altar and see what happens. Another level. Look at that. Uh, Alright, we're full. All right, so now that our altar is full, oops, let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Let's get rid of our other stuff. And just because I'm going to play it safe, I think I'm going to go rest. Because <laughs> I'm feeling doing this ritual with a bunch of monsters spawning around me is a bad idea. So, so we're going to find out what happens. Uh, some supposed to be able to tap it with the weak shard, the weak activation crystal. You feel a pull, but you are too weak to push any further. Hmm. Shift? Nope. There we go. Whoa. All right, let's make sure we put out the fires. <laughs> Apparently the fires can destroy. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> wow. All right, we have a bound blade. Caution, may cause a bad day. Deactivated. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... What's that up there? Yes, I know. Easily distracted. Ah, oh, it's just a cloud. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Easily distracted. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to hold shift and right click. And I believe that's going to activate it. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go find some monsters. Hey, look, we happen to have some right here. Look at that. Convenient. Let's put the sword away while we're thinking about it. So that's full. So we should get a, if we kill enough of these, we should get a shard off them. Yes. Let's see. Weak blood shard. All right, so that's actually what we need. What do you think? I have a feeling we need a second one. There we go. Okay, so let's get away from there so those guys stop spawning. Wow, we have four. Cool. All right. So now we're going to put this into our table here. Nope. Uh, let's see. Recipe. 
Viewed slate. Oh, that's a good way to make more of them. Huh. Uh, that's, let's see, brick. Blood brick. Bloodstone, large bloodstone brick. Ah, okay. Duh. Let's do some stone. <laughs> all right. ST. Oops. I don't need all that stone. I just need one. You know what? While I have that open, why don't I do this? Get rid of the extraneous stuff. All right. And boom. So let's place these. Oops. If I get rid of the doodads I already put on there. Uh, okay, we're going to go downstairs to place these other ones. i got to say I'm impressed with how fast those weak blood shards come out. That's nice. Not going to have to worry about uh, farming these things forever to try and uh, build other stuff. Fly. I said fly. I'll put that there. Put that there. All right, let's go check our blood altar. And tier four. Look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Tier four blood altar. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> it's another, uh, another milestone to reach, I guess. Uh, you know, I kind of like these. These look kind of nice. I, in a, you know, morbid kind of way. Uh, let's check. What's our network say? It's current capacity. Let's see if we kill, kill some of these, if we can boost our capacity here. What's our... Oh, yeah, we're down halfway. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> Why do we make a tier 4 altar? Duh. Because we wanted to make the next uh, blood orb. So I should probably find out what we need to throw in there. Before I get too carried away. I should actually though. I should stay near here because we're going to need a lot of these guys. To get this. If uh, the past has any kind of uh, indication with how many we needed for the last bit of stuff, and you know what, no, I'll keep that with me. In fact, I'm going to put these in here as well. Alright, so let's, let's look up Blood Orb. Or, we'll look up Orb. What do we have? We have the Magician, so we're looking for the Master, I believe. Oh, weak Blood Shard. Tier 4. Look at that. I knew there was a reason we needed a second one. <laughs> and... Sorry, what was that? 40,000. Okay. Uh, we're going to be here for a little bit. Boom. For just a little bit. I suppose I should let some of this uh, work down before I start uh, pounding it in there. Alright. There we go, there we go. Thank you for your blood. Though, you know, with blazes, I think I should be playing the song Hot Blooded. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Level 35? Wasn't I just at level 20? How's it going? Oh, come on, get down here, guys. Come on. Hmm. Apparently, I need to let a, l a bunch of these build up before I can start this. Hmm. You know what? Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to let a whole bunch of these guys build up so that uh, so that we can do this proper. So I'm going to wait for them to build up, and then I'll be right back. All right. So looking at our uh, statistics here, I'm seeing a third line down where it says E. 41 out of 200 and some odd. So we've got about 40, uh, 43, 44, 40 of the blazemen there. So I'm going to start this off 
you get in there, and as it works down, I will start to kill them one at a time, as opposed to killing them way too fast, as I was before. Let's see if, how am I keeping up? No, I gotta kill them a little faster. Hopefully I've got enough here. <laughs> we'll see. And to do, yeah. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming out. Okay, I need to catch up a bit. Huh, what hit me? Oh well. Doesn't matter. Okay. Going good so far. I think we still have quite a few in there. Yep. Okay. Doing good. Lots of stuff to drop that we're going to pick up and throw in our inventory. I suppose I should start uh, looking at some of those contracts too at some point. There's a little bag there, which is great. There's some fun hidden stuff in there. Grab some of that stuff before it despawns. Yay! Look at that! We got our master orb. And let's just fill this back up again. Oh. Some purple stuff there. Oh. What's that spider, right? All right. Uh, success. I think that went pretty well. Let's put this in here. Oops. And we will collect our new Master Blood Orb. Oh, I also did some decorations here. Oops. All right. Let's try an empty hand. I also did some decorations with the Blazemen. Of course, with those other blazes over there, you can't hear them, but they do actually make sound when you click on them. So these are a random drop-off of killing Blazemen. There are of the trophies, but I obviously don't have any right now. Uh, so what is this? This is filled. Yes, no. Oh, no. Look at that. So do I click? That's one way to do it. But I, I thought we could put it in the altar here and fill it up. Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to spend some time filling up this orb, but I'm going to say we call it an episode for a day. So what did we do today? We made our um, bound sword, which required us to make our ritual of binding, which required us to make a master ritual stone and a ritual diviner and a bunch of ritual stones. And made a nice little ritual area. There are a ton of rituals to go through, so that'll be interesting to check out. I'll have to do that some other time, and I'll have to do some research to figure out uh, what rituals do what. And also, we finished our Tier 4 Blood Altar, and we made our Blood Orb. Yay! <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Uh, apparently, there are some other bound tools we can make, um, much like our Bound Sword. Uh, like a bound pickaxe that will uh, mine a large area of the same item at once. So I'll probably look into doing that as well because it's only a diamond pickaxe and we've got the weak ritual stone already. Weak activation stone, I should say. So it should be pretty easy to make one of those. So I'll probably do one of those off camera before next episode. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in and for staying with me after my brief pause for summer vacation. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. There is a great, uh, great episode of Tolarian College for those who play Magic the Gathering, uh, where he, uh, the professor, discusses how the YouTube uh, algorithms work, and it's quite interesting about how likes and comments help. Uh, videos pop up to the top of lists and they also help them reoccur in your feed so uh, if you're interested to keep watching this subscribe like and feel free to comment comments do actually help it uh, keep it near the top of your feed so that you see when I create a new episode and that is it for this week have fun have a good week and safe minecrafting don't dig straight down <laughs> bye all see yous.